What's going on YouTube? This is Elton Pinto Mota, men's physique athlete, IFBB pro. Today we're going to be shooting some content around me. I'm going to try to show you guys more or less how my day goes prior to my workout and probably after my workout too. Let's get a little bit of history of myself. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm actually half Portuguese, half Angolan. People are always asking if I'm, if I'm actually from the States, if I'm Brazilian. And because I've been in England for so long, since the age of 13, some people actually think I'm British. But no, I'm not. I'm actually, I'm a mix of Angola, which is Africa, and Portuguese, Portugal, you know, Ronaldo. You guys know. Like at the moment, one of my main goals is to qualify for the Olympia. I think there's every IFBB pro, uh, once you turn pro, uh, that's definitely one of your main goals, definitely becomes qualifying for the Olympia. So at this moment right now, we've competed in Portugal, uh, where I placed top three. Uh, it was an amazing show. It was actually my first, second, my third show. So I was very, very pleased to make it to the first call out. And when I got to a top three, it almost felt like a win to me. At this precise moment, I don't have a specific date for when I'm going to be competing. My approach is going to be quite simple. I'm going to be starting my prep real soon with no date. And as I feel that I'm getting ready and close to any specific show date, I'll pick one. Let's say if I feel, and my coach obviously, feels that I look like I'm four weeks out, we're just going to look at the calendar and pick a show within those four weeks and just go straight into it. I've just signed with Boohoo Man recently, uh, which it was a great surprise, let's say, this year. So I want to be doing as much as I can with Boohoo, so we'll be, I'll be working and shooting content uh, as much as I can with the brand. Recently also signed with the EHP Labs. <laughs> There's been a lot of signing this year. I remember going to my, one of my first expos and going to EHP Lab stand, not because of EHP Lab, let's be honest, but there was a specific athlete that I look up to and I know he was signing to EHP. So I went there and it was my first experience uh, with the company itself. Um, the athlete actually gave me a very small top of Oxy Shred. Uh, which quickly became one of my favorite supplements, but it was quite challenging to get it over here in the UK at that time, which is not now. Imagine for me to fast forward five years to be able to be part of that company is almost like a dream come true, I would say. So letting you guys a little bit into my life. Um, we got my other half here, Alanda. Um, these are our, our little pets, Tiny and Peanut. Normally, um, uh, every morning before I go and do my cardio, I normally come to this space here. And this is my space of meditation, okay? I tend to spend here between 10 to half an hour uh, just meditating, staring at that guy. Over <laughs> no, 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 I'm only fucking with you. I, don't, I just picked the guy because I think he just looks good somewhere in some corner, but yeah. So we're going to be eating chest today. So I'm going to have my pre-workout meal now. So I'm going to share with you guys what I normally eat. I got the rice cooker. And guess what comes after rice, huh? Try guess it. <laughs> Is it fish? Is it pizza? No, it's chicken. This is Cajun chicken, okay? So I don't want nobody else, I don't want people to be looking at it like, oh my God, Elton uses so much seasoning with this food. No, I try, I try to be a proper bodybuilder on most days. Scales. This is definitely a must. Fun fact, um, I've been competing since I was 23. I'm 30 years old now, so that's something for you guys to know as well. Uh, I've never really used the scale in my life until a year and a half ago. Everything else I just used to go based on the eye. But since I got a coach and after a year of being coached by my coach, I understood how important it is to measure your food. So guys, don't be like me. Make sure that you do measure your food. We're gonna get the rice first. So we'll probably put this way so you guys can see. If you get a little bit more, don't panic, okay? One fifty-four, okay. It is just day, so. Let's try and make 155. 
I normally tend to use scissors. <laughs> Saves me having to cut when it's on my plate. And let's reset this again. Okay. And we'll go for 175. Ooh, this guy's so precise. 58. Yeah, we can have a bit more chicken. Definitely more. 172. Okay. 172, but I'm still going to add a little bit more chicken. Just, I always like to have a bit more. Never less. 181. Okay, six grams more. Hopefully, we're not going to die of it. Tacos in. Rice. Just microwave it. So pure cut meal is now done and we're about to go and hit the gym now because it is just day so you know it's the best day. going on guys and we are at Stackhouse Gym, Rayleigh Essex and we are about to go and get this chest workout. We just got some waters, pre workouts already in so we give it like 5-10 minutes and let's get pumped. We're gonna start with the, with the flat chest exercise uh, but before that let's actually warm up triceps as well. Let's get one set of uh, tricep warm up so let's go. some weight for another two sets and all together we're probably going to hit four sets here just to make sure that we get a good good bump and a nice stretch as well Feeling strong today. So we got 35, so we're gonna have 25 more. Now we're gonna move on to flat chest, same protocol, 10, 15, 18 reps, still keeping everything controlled and we will be increasing weight accordingly to how we feel. Some days like if you might come into the gym and feel like you're gonna do the same weight that you did the day before, you might do less, some days you might do more. So the most important thing is that you listen to your body and how you feel at the moment. And if you feel like going up, going up, if you need to tape down, tape down. Like, you're not a power lifter. You're trying to build muscle.
Ah. So now we're gonna use some cables. Let's try to get really good squeezes. We're gonna focus more on the inner chest part. Get about three to four sets. Here it's not about being going very heavy. It's about more having control of the weight because it's really easy to sacrifice form here and that's what we don't want to do. We want to keep the intensity on the muscle so it's better to decrease the weight just to gain more control of it. I had. Woo. God, so pumped. Yeah, so now we're gonna move on to lower chest. Uh, one of my favorite exercises, which is doing dips. So here, for the three, four sets that we're gonna do, we're just gonna hit failure each and every time. So we, the, the numbers of reps is not gonna be very consistent, but obviously the most of fatigue as we go through each working set. But best believe that the pump here is gonna be crazy. Let's go. Let's try with chains on. chest, starting with upper, then we've done flat chest, we've done some inner chest exercise, really really good squeezes and our favorite exercise, we've done some dips for lower chest. So this will be it for chest today, give it a go yourself and I'll guarantee you that you will have a really really good pump. So we're back from the gym now and we're gonna get some protein. Uh, EHP Labs, Oxy Whey, two scoops, because we did have a big, big, big chest. Big session. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is one of my favorite flavors. Anybody that doesn't know me, they know that me and caramel is like the best combo that God has ever made. Uh, it's it's so much, I do. How much protein do you aim for like a day? Uh, I try to get in about 240 to 260 grams a day. 
and I keep the same like even when I'm on prep the only thing that we change is just the amount of carbohydrates and stuff like that but protein we keep the same the whole time Mm. they so nice so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and stay tuned because there will be a lot more coming alright